Hello everyone, welcome to the weekly lecture videos once again. And this is the last video of chapter four. And in this video, we are going to discuss how to find out the number of periods required to achieve a desired investment value. So I think by this time you are familiar uh, with the um, present value and future value equation. which is uh, shown here. So the future value equals to present value into one plus R power T. Uh, so in the previous videos, we have seen how we calculate present values, future values, and the associated discount rate. Now we want to know how to find out the value of T, which means that if we have um, an investment amount, we know the rate of return we are going to earn, and we have a desired value, but we want to know how long it will take to achieve a desired value, then um, T can be found out by rearranging this equation. Um, however, in this case, we need to use um, the logarithm uh, of future value divided by present value by um, LM, which is natural logarithm of uh, one plus R, okay? So if we look at this, this example here, you have been saving up to buy the Nipper company. The total cost will be 10 million and you currently have 2.3 million and you can earn 5% on your money. So you can see um, you are given with a present value, which is 10 million. Um, sorry, um, you are given with a present value, which is 2.3 million. And uh, you know that how much you will need to make the investment. And you also know what is the rate of return you're gonna earn. So you need to find out how long it will take to grow 2.3 million to 10 million when you earn 5%. So the formula is, as we have seen in the previous slide, um, LN natural logarithm of 10, which is the future value divided by present value, divided by LN for 1.05, which is 5% is the interest rate, so which is equals to 30 years, which means that it will take 30 years to grow 2.3 million to 10 million when we earn 5%. Okay, so which means that if we invest 2.3 million today, earn 5%, uh, it will grow to 10 million in 30 years time so that we can make the investment um, we are planning. Okay, um, so that's the end of this video. Uh, and um, so far in this chapter, in four videos, we have learned present values, future values, how to find out discount rates and how to find out time periods. Um, so if you have any question associated with any of these, don't hesitate to let me know. And watch the next videos for um, our discussion on chapter five. Thank you very much.